What's going on everybody? My name is Coach Brad. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you an awesome, awesome combination of movements that are going to absolutely crush your outer hips. Now I want you to think of hip training as core training, but we are going to specifically hit abdominals as well. Most of you know, as I preach on this channel, there's way more to your core than just your abs. So we're going to try to hit a lot of different stuff. You're going to start by taking a loop band and putting it around both knees. Loop band should go just above your kneecaps. All right, so right about there. Um, you're also going to need two sliders and a yoga block or a kind of a thick pillow. Okay, we're going to go for two rounds, 10 reps of everything. We're going to start with a modified side plank with a clamshell, bridge with alternating march, hollow hold with hip abduction, slider snow angels side plank with abduction so that's so we have two different side planks so kind of an easy and a hard version and then we're going to finish with hollow body rocking so now one round at 10 reps of everything is going to go pretty quickly but here we go we're going to demo everything in real time okay so modified side plank clamshell you want to make sure your shoulder hip knee make one straight line so you squeeze your butt, push your belt buckle out. Make sure your hip is off the floor. Okay, now I'm in my modified side plank, so the pressure's on my knees. I'm gonna add the clamshell motion. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. I'm gonna try not to bring my knees fully together. Leave a little bit of space there to keep that tension. One, other side. Okay, go on to my back. You're gonna come up into bridge. You're gonna extend one knee, but keep the knees at the same height. Don't do this. Keep them here and here. And then switch legs while staying up in your bridge. Don't rush through it. Anyone can do this fast. Doing it slow is where the challenge really lies. Okay, 10 here, it's implied that it's 10 per leg, so it's really 20 total reps. I lost count, but I'm gonna ballpark estimate that I have two more on each. Okay, hollow hold. Arms are gonna be overhead like so. You're gonna to try to elevate your legs off the floor, but you're gonna add the hip abduction, which means we're gonna pull out against the band and slowly in. And this would be for 10. So basically from here up, I'm off the ground, and from here down, I'm also off the ground. I've got my abs engaged tight, and I'm holding my low back pressed into the floor. So here we go for 10. Keep breathing throughout the move. Okay, now it's time for those sliders. We've got furniture movers here. These work great. If you don't have those, that's cool. You can put, take your shoes off and just slide your socks across the carpet or like a hardwood floor, linoleum floor, that works great too. Okay, all you're gonna do here, press your low back down, engage your abs, slide open and close like you're making a snow angel. Slow, do not speed up. Keep the pressure on the heels, driving those sliders down into the carpet, if you're using them, of course. Three more. Good, we're done with the sliders. We go back to side plank, and this time 
We're gonna have the top leg straight, bottom leg is gonna be bent as it was in the first exercise. And now I'm gonna lift up into my side plank, make sure that elbow is right below your shoulder. And now, straight leg abduction here, just the top leg. Nice and smooth. So keep your knees straight, don't let it bend. Okay, up the side. Looks like we don't need the yoga block after all. Okay, now I'm feeling that fatigue set in. It's hard for me to even get to the previous height that I was at before. Now, hollow body rocking. Easy version is with knees bent here, arms overhead. The whole point of hollow body rocking is you're not crunching, you're not flexing your spine, you're not bringing your chest closer to your pelvis. What you are doing is keeping isometric tension in the abdominals just like a plank and you're creating a little rocking motion by wiggling your hips forward backward forward backward just an inch or two each way if all goes smoothly the bony part here below your low back so like above your tailbone back of the pelvis that's the part you're rocking on so I'm gonna do it for you both ways 10 reps with the knees bent and then 10 more with the legs straight Okay, legs straight. Okay, that's the entire workout. You will have hit several different muscles within the whole core region, and you should feel a little bit of burn right now. If you think this was easy for you, so you could try slowing it down, or why don't you try adding 15 reps, and we were gonna do two rounds. So you could add 15 reps if you want a harder still, or 20 reps if you're a expert. You let me know how it went for you. Okay, but that's one full round of the movements. Go ahead and play this back from the beginning, and you can go through round two. Thanks for watching. I'll look for your comments. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.